going to start with the next talk. It's going to be uh, Consuming and Replying uh, Cloud Events by Pablo from TriggerMatch. Take it, Pablo. Thanks a lot, Carlos. Can you hear me? I guess uh, that's a yes. So I'm Pablo from TriggerMatch. I'm an engineer there. And um, hi to all the people I haven't said hi uh, so far. Um, so this presentation is, you know, there have been a lot of smart people here with super cool topics. And, and now I'm going to talk about replying to cloud events. So I feel a bit like the underdog here, because this is uh, mostly trivial. But I'm going to focus on, on that space between a broker and a sync. If I, um, if I name something uh, called targets, it does how we call syncs in Trigger Mesh. So, uh, oh yeah, thank you, Carlos. So let's get going. Uh, we are going to go through five scenarios, um, and those scenarios are all about um, if you have syncs, if those syncs uh, should reply or not, in which scenarios you need to reply, and what are your choices when replying. So uh, the reason for this is, uh, I don't know if people here follow the uh, activity around Kubernetes, uh, around Knative. Um, uh, there's a, a new um, task force called Knative Flows. And in there, there, we started to have some discussions. And we ended up with two different initiatives in there. So one of them is uh, Knative as a streaming platform. So a streaming platform where you probably want to do analytics on on your events on a time frame, on a time window. And then you also have integrations kind of flows. Uh, and there you want to have something maybe that will be in the end some high, higher order object. And when you have that, you will need to do translation just as Roland did now. So you have a number of components. They might be parallel or not, but you have something that uh, will need uh, to have different cloud events uh, interacting among each, each other. So if you, uh, if you think of uh, what we have so far or, or what we find at the repo so far, you will see this uh, ACK, not ACK, should be familiar to all of you. So if you call a component, uh, the choices for a broker is that is answered with ACK or not ACK. ACK, uh, other than just saying, hey, this went OK, you also have the chance of uh, producing a new cloud event. But with non-ACK, uh, non uh, you could produce a new cloud event, but it's not going to go anywhere. So at Trigger Mesh and also at this uh, new uh, task force, we, we are facing some challenges in there. So let me introduce the first scenario. So this first scenario should be, uh, by the way, uh, that symbol is like a broker or a channel or, uh, and in fact, this is not specific to Knative. This should be um, applicable to any uh, queue system that you have. So uh, there on the right, there should be a component that might uh, uh, subscribe to something delivering a, an event. And if you say ACK uh, without any payload, that means, okay, I received that. You don't have to repeat that. Uh, because you know, this, uh, um, this track there might have delivery options and might have the retries and might have uh, um, a deadline queue, for example. So what happens if, uh, if your component returns a non-ACK? So those retries are going to, uh, the, the ones you configure, are going to uh, retry again the same uh, request, the same cloud event, and if none of them are successful, they will get to a deadline queue in the end. Okay, so this is uh, super trivial so far. Um, and you know, there's something uh, we've been doing at Trigger Mesh for more than a year. So since we repeat that over and over at our syncs or targets, uh, we created uh, something called the replier, which is a library that we need to revisit now. So if you follow here all these ballots, these are more or less the requirements for that. Uh, so this is highly opinionated. I'm super interested if you have a different point of view here. But 
this is what we learned so far. So cognitive eventing does delivery. So you could think more or less this is imperfect, but you could think of uh, the broker as being the postman or postwoman that knocks your door, hands you a letter, and says, goodbye, and you, say, you open the letter and say, hey, I don't like this. And they say, uh, I don't know, I, I tell you with the letter, that's up to you. Um, so you either say ACK or non-ACK. So, but the analogy is imperfect because uh, uh, you could also produce a new one. Hey, uh, postwoman, here's my letter. So that's, that's not fitting perfectly. But in this case here, uh, we have uh, non-ACK is uh, used for messages that were not delivered only. If you had a different kind of problem, um, let, let's see what happened with non-SEK. We'll see later. So that let, the letter thing contains non-deliberate events. Um, should we use non-ACK uh, if, um, if we receive an event and the event is malformed? Uh, if we use non-ACK, uh, it is up to the broker or maybe to your subscription or your trigger to define the delivery. And if they repeat, if you have, hey, five retries uh, in linear of five seconds away one from the other, uh, so you're wasting your resources. You're making it easy to do a DOS on your cluster, no? five times easier. Um, so let's see the next scenario. So what happens if I um, send ACK plus a payload? So this is also expected by all of you, I guess you get a new cloud event. Um, so this is okay, but uh, you know, uh, and I saw this in a presentation in the community some time ago. So you should uh, avoid loops. Usually when you subscribe, you don't subscribe to, please don't subscribe to all the events. Use filters. But then if you filter by type and you do some kind of transformation or reply back, make sure you are not uh, replying with the same uh, filter that you put there. So with something that matches the, the same filter. So um, I'm going to take note of that, of the, um, that we should uh, take care or create somehow at that reply library uh, that we should be uh, making sure that users don't use uh, at least the same type. The type is usually um, always in the in the filters and um, what else and let users decide if uh, the response cost event should be produced so let, let's say uh, that you have um, a sync and the sync uh, returns something it creates something on the database and brings back with how many bytes uh, that uh, uh, the, the size of the new record but you are not interested in that and as you are not interested, there's no component listening to that. So it could be nice if we all create syncs, the same as people create sources, we also create syncs, and those syncs um, have the option of saying, hey, no one is listening to that. I don't want to flood uh, a broker or whoever is calling you with messages no one is interested in. So it could be nice if we have a spec, we hand that to the user and say, hey, you have the option here to opt out of any response. So um, here, here start the super opinionated stuff. So what happens if there's an error? And it is not a delivery error. So the cloud event gets to our sync. And our sync fails for a different reason. Uh, credentials. The credentials are obsolete. So what should we do? It sounds Sounds probably good to, to send, uh, to let it repeat maybe uh, three times because the, the delivery option says that. Um, and maybe it will end at the, the letter Q, but it will, it will be there along with the non-delivery stuff, other errors. Um, and you know what? Uh, any, any reply you get in there is not going to be there. It's, uh, you are going to get at the, the letter sync the original event. I think there's a good reason for that. So uh, if you get some, some other thing at the Delder Sync, you're making up a new event. So should Knative, should a broker do that? 
Sounds super opinionated. I'm not saying no, but sounds super, super opinionated. So here's what we did. And some people will not agree at all with, with this, but works for us. We are um, saying ACK in, in the sense that I received that. I didn't have a problem with you, uh, my dear broker. I had a different kind of problem. And then um, we recommend people to create a new type, which is an error, so we can later uh, check what happened there. And inside there, we should have a structure, we should have a schema that we always use, uh, so that if we want to put it somewhere in some uh, log analyzer on some automatic tool, it could be digested by, by whoever. So this is uh, more or less the summary of what I already said. So um, only ACK will get a, a cloud, uh, a cloud event response. The Knative code will discard any cloud event that you uh, get back, but uh, has a non-ACK. So it won't benefit from Knative uh, delivery options. Also, it won't get the noise of uh, Knative delivery options. So that's up to you to, to measure and, and act on in consequence. Uh, so and the development hints, we already said this. So define an error type and schema. Could be super awesome if we all do this in, a, in the same fashion and we don't have a hey, trigger mesh error and then uh, uh, Red Hat errors, VMware, and VMware errors. If we have something common, that could be super awesome. But that, let's give us uh, some time. Um, then including the original cloud event, uh, I think that's a good idea. But you know, um, what does a cloud event contain? Uh, we don't know. So if we are going to create a library here, and the library contains uh, medical data, uh, your uh, medical history, uh, probably we don't want that to, to be in there. So we should have at that library a check somewhere that says, hey, uh, please uh, anonymize this somehow. Uh, we don't want this data to be there. And then, obviously, let the user decide if the response should be produced. Just as the case of the, uh, of the ACK, if you, if you, there's nothing, if you are doing like a, a one-way shot and you don't care about errors for some reason, um, because probably your, I don't know, if your cloud events are, are they cattles or are they pets? Do you, do you care? Uh, does they, do they have a name? Are they a bank account and you are withdrawing money? Or is that some kind of metrics? So depending on that, you will uh, probably need to configure or allow your users to, to tell them if they, they want it to be produced or not. Uh, before this one, and just to picture, because I, I don't have uh, a proper demo, but I have a something, but I don't know how this is going to be. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, so uh, I have a a tool, a super, super stupid tool and not very professional. I hope it doesn't panic and I'm being honest because I, I was touching that there and I'm half asleep. But um, I have uh, a broker, a curl pod, um, and then a number of services and those services are things. And they're super simple. They just have a, a parser of how to reply, okay? Uh, so I, I'm not even giving you the, the GitHub because I, it's a shame of uh, the code. But I'm going to show you here uh, how the broker works and what we are getting in the scenarios we've seen uh, till now. So I don't remember if I have this deployed. So OK. Seems so. So I have, uh, I think, uh, four services, yeah? So you have uh, those services. I don't know if you can read it, but uh, I'll go one by one. So we have the CE receiver. So that one is, uh, has a trigger and is listening to, uh, I think it's called in types. Uh, so it, it has a filter for um, cloud events coming in there. But then um, the kind of load that the sync is accepting uh, goes like, 
uh, let me show this, goes like this. You see that there, that's a, um, it's going to parse something like that. So it's saying, hey, uh, return ACK. Okay, um, later we will say, hey, return not ACK. So that's how we are going to test all this. And I know this is going to be super boring for people here uh, used to uh, to write targets and so uh, sorry sinks or so, but uh, it won't be long. So let me show you. Here at the top right corner, I'm going to show the logs for the receiver. So right now that's empty, but that receiver is going to, if, it, if there's a, any response from them and there's a payload, um, I need something else to listen to that. So I'm going to, and also the broker has a, a dead letter sync. So I'm going to put there at the right the dead letter sync. Okay, so the next one is going to be the, the sync that is listening, that it's, uh, the the dead sync is configured with. So uh, K logs CE, I don't remember the name. Dead letter sync, yeah. User blah 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 minus F. Okay. So then we also have uh, as we see, we also have uh, if there's a. Uh, so if there's an, an error, I hope it gets to the KSBC and non ACK. But if uh, there's an ACK and also a payload, um, I need another service that is going to listen to the, uh, to the responses from the one above. So I'm going to put that one here. And that is the CE reply receiver. So log CE reply receiver user container minus F. And I think that's it. Uh, okay. So let's start with this. Um, I'm going to, I also have a, a curl pod there. So I'm going to issue this command. And that is telling it, hey, uh, I have an, uh, a cloud event for you. So if you check the type, it's in type, it's the one, that one at the top, right, is listening to. And if I press enter, I just expect. And you see the info in there in blue, so so blue means uh, cool. But, um, but now I'm going to do something different here, and I'm going to send a message that tells you, hey, do not accept this. This is going to be an error. But is it, it's an, not ACK. It's a, we are simulating that the event never, never got there. So let's see what happens. You see, one, two, three, four, and then at the letter sync, we got the original type. You see that? So the reason for that is because the broker was configured with three retries, uh, I think three seconds away linear. So that's what you get. And yet all this is expected. But now let's take a look at this. I'm going to issue the same command, but uh, I'm going to totally mess here. So this is malformed. This is not JSON. Okay, uh, so the application is going to crash. So if you look there at the top right, error and another error and yet another error. And in the end, I get the original uh, event. So is that helping me? So it's a malform. So the delivery was done. But then uh, I know I'm going to, you can send it 100 times. I know that's going to fail. So does it make sense to reply with non ACK? And then look at what I get at the data sync. Is that helping me? 
on knowing. I, I know that wasn't delivered, but does it help me to know the reason why it failed? So that is the reason that moved us to reply ACK plus some kind of error. So let me show that to you. Obviously, uh, I think this is trivial, but ACK plus event, which is this one I have here. You see, you get, you get this ACK here, and, and then down here at the receiver consuming, consumer, you also have the new event. So the, this request there had a, at the data another action with ACK, so that one over there sent that here, you see the response type, is the one this was listening to, but this is super trivial, okay? This is expected that you, if you reply with a cloud event, uh, it will get back to the broker and be de delivered to whoever is listening to that. So let's get to uh, the malevolent creation here. So you see, we are going to do something super similar, but check that out. So, we are saying ACK, but this is an error. So, in this case, oh yeah, I'm missing, there's another receiver here, uh, KGET, KSVC. So my all eyes are uh, not super good. Yeah, the CE error reply. So K logs, uh, CE. Um, yeah, that one. So I'm going to send now that one that is sending ACK, but with error type. And there you go. You get uh, a processing of the event. We are not telling Knative this is wrong. We are sending that back, back to, the, to the broker. And this one here is uh, getting the, um, the error and could be processing and doing some automatic uh, analytics or whatever, or trying to fix. Uh, what went on. And if you are curious about, uh, hey, uh, but what happens if, I, if there's a, a problem delivering? So this doesn't get in the way. Um, so still, if there is a real uh, non-ACK, so you can see that there, there are two instructions. So the first one is saying, if the re, uh, retry count is less than two, based on the ID of the request, but if the request uh, count is less than two, say non-ACK. But after the second retry, send action ACK. Uh, and also this error type. So we are simulating that the delivery was, uh, uh, was not made for the uh, first request. And then the last one got, was successful, uh, but wasn't um, an application error. So follow it, you see, oh, shouldn't be more of those. Uh, let, let me check. Okay, there you go. Warning, warning. And then the third one was an ACK that got in here as an application error. So th that, that is the thing that we are doing. I don't know if that sounds super weird to you or not, but uh, so far it's the only way we have, and I think if you think of uh, Knative as a delivery platform, this totally fits. So, If we move a bit farther, and this, uh, uh, when I saw uh, Sebastian uh, demo, uh, demo no, the, the lightning talk, he was talking about correlations. So, so yeah, we have those uh, all over. So if there's a cloud event or a stream of cloud events that this one, a matching sync, is reading, hey, uh, I took note of this. I'm interested in this data, but I, I need something else. I need. Uh, uh, so there are the orders there, but I need 
the list items for that order. So then there's an event uh, sender saying, hey, someone is going to need this data, put that back in the broker, and this one will need to match both of them. So we will need to do some uh, propagation of IDs. So there should be some IDs over there uh, that are matching them with some other IDs from there, so this one is able to do uh, that matching. Um, so we will need to uh, provide users with some capabilities for, uh, for propagation. Uh, this is not super, super trivial, to be honest, because if you think about that, if you uh, do propagation of all of, the, all of them, you could end up with, uh, I don't know, how many attributes. Uh, and probably some of them not, don't make sense. If you have a super long workflow, you are piling up all your attributes. So what we recommend here is to have uh, some kind of list or maybe some uh, regex patterns for, for this kind of, um, um, this kind of uh, correlation um, propagation or attributes propagation. And the last one is my less favorite one, but since uh, I know there are people using this, I included it here. So sometimes you receive at your component, at your sync something, um, but then that one, that component, instead of getting the cloud event back to the broker, is sending that to a different sync. So for me, uh, what I don't like from here is that, well, here it's a, this is a bit more obvious that the, um, you know, HTTP is not transactional. So what happens is something fails there. Um, so uh, probably you've delivered uh, the, or already the cloud event, uh, but you are telling back here that this wasn't delivered. But uh, that happens everywhere. So uh, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on, on that component there doing routing. Uh, and this is probably a nuance, but I would like to, you know, brokers, uh, if we create uh, or educate our users, brokers, triggers, filters, th th for me that's my preferred mechanism for, for communicating. But we've had, uh, we have components that uh, have these uh, possibilities. So if you, you don't configure a sync at the component, they replay back to the broker. If you config configure a sync, they will return to the, uh, first of all, they will contact the sync, put there the cloud event, and then get back to the broker saying, hey, this was okay or not okay. And uh, this is uh, just what I mentioned about the, hey, uh, that sync failing. And this is the, uh, probably the requisites we have for revisiting this reply, reply package that we have. Um, this is the summary. There are some, some more, and probably we will come up with uh, some new ideas in there and investigate what other people are doing. But this is the summary. Um, you know, this doesn't have to be too good mesh if, uh, if we uh, at the community think that some other people will benefit from that. We are more than happy to bring some kind of wrapper of a cloud events client where you can have all this. But to be honest, at this stage, it's super opinionated on our side, but we are sharing it here. Um, I'm super eager to, to know what you think about it. So that was it. Um, I don't know how long it takes. I, I had 25 minutes. Uh, do we have time for questions? Yeah, well, maybe we'll have one question. Evan? Easy. So you were talking at the end about the, oh, I send this target an event and it goes off and sends events somewhere else. Um, one case I've seen for that is if you have multiple events you want to generate from a single inbound event, there's no current way to stuff that back into the reply. I don't think that it's optimal, but yeah. that's one of the reasons that you might do that. I know, I know, I don't want to argue on that. Yeah. <laughs> Reply an array of events? That was a quick question. More, uh, more questions? If not, you can uh, uh, find Pablo at the social, hoping he stays. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pablo. Well, Thank